Hey friends, Julie here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am taking part in Yami from the Latina Next Door's Look for Less Challenge. This is a challenge that she hosts every month where we are to take a high-end item and recreate it for a lot less. So I took this uh, picture holder from Pier 1 and I recreated it for $8. So if you want to see how I did this, make sure you stay tuned. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, I do DIYs and home decor and I do it all on a budget. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below as well as the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Now, let me show you what I did. So you're going to need one of these happy Easter signs, some of this wood contact paper, three four by six frames, you're going to need three of these like drain um, drain plugs from the Dollar Tree, some permanent glue like E6000, some sandpaper, black ribbon, and some things to paint with, as well as a couple of different colors of chalk paint. So to begin, I am just going to remove the twine and these little bunny feet and this little ribbon. And I'm gonna be using the back side. And I am just going to take the contact paper and find a piece that I like. I really want this to look like a piece of wood and have the natural grain as well as the knots. So I chose to just do the edge, that way one side is already cut straight for me. And I'm just going to cut out the contact paper and stick it to the wooden sign. Now to give this sign a really good edge, I'm going to sand the edges and I'm sanding down in a downward motion and then ripping off the paper. This makes the paper stick better. It also makes the edges look um, cohesive, like it's one piece. And then I am just going to take some gray chalk paint and rub it with some paper towel. I want this to look really rustic and old and weathered so I didn't want to use a brush here and you're also going to see that I do it in layers um, I was a little bit nervous because I just want I don't want to cover so much of the wood with all the different colors that you can't see the wood grain popping out and then I did the same thing with the frames Now I'm going in with some black chalk paint and layering in different areas. I think that this project is supposed to look like, like an old piece of barn wood that was in a fire or something. Like that's what it looks like to me because it's very black um, on the Pier 1, the inspiration piece. So I'm going to just do this in layers. Again, I am a little bit afraid. I don't want it to be too black, too gray. I want it to be just right. So I do some black and then I go in and do a little bit more gray and then I do a little bit more black and I just keep doing it until it's the look that I'm going for.
So now the only part of these um, drain plugs that I need is just the little black knob. I really wanted to try to use strictly Dollar Tree items for this piece. I could have gone to the hardware store and got black knobs and they would have been a little bit larger, more like the picture, but these worked just fine. So I used some wire cutters and just kind of indented along and kept turning the knobs and they ended up just popping off so that all I had left was the very top of the knob. And then I measured, I wanted the um, knobs to be in the center of the board and then I wanted the middle one to be in the center, um, horizontally speaking, as well as vertically. So make sure you measure it out or else you could have very uneven spacing between your frames and you might not like that. And then I just took the E6000 because I really want this to be um, more permanent than just hot glue. And hot glue might work, I don't know. These frames are actually very, very light, but I decided to do the E6000 and I let it dry overnight before I decided to hang any pictures or do any painting of the knobs. Now the inspiration piece, um, the knobs also have some of that gray look to them. So I am just gonna take a little bit of gray chalk paint with um, a paper towel and just dab it along the knobs a little bit. Now that everything is dry and ready to be assembled, all I have to do is put the glass and the pictures back into the frame. I also chose to rip off the um, back stand on each of the frames because that's going to keep it too far from the wall and I don't want it to look like that. And then I just tied some ribbon into the top hook and I just kind of measured out the ribbon eyeballing it to make sure that they're all going to be the same length so they're all hanging down at the same length. So what do you think? How did I do? It's not a perfect match, but it's pretty close for $8. Um, let me know down in the comments below what did you think of my look for less. And also, please don't forget to check out the link that I will have down in the description box with a playlist so you can go see everyone else's challenge videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.